16 fights, 16 knockouts. Two of the fighters he's knocked out have been rated in the top 10. Worked with me with Rodrigo Valdez as his trainer. He said he's a real good, tough club fighter, lots of heart, and he's going to give it a big try. Round three from the Olympia in Detroit. Thomas Hearns now on the right of your screen. And on our cards, we have him ahead through the first two rounds as he has stocked and been the aggressive fighter and scored a couple of good left hands back in round number two. This is round three. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy at ringside at the Olympia. The hometown hero trying for his 17th consecutive knockout as a professional. Hearns turned pro back in 1977. He's gone on the... More than four rounds only twice so far as a pro. For Murillo to get into this fight, he's going to have to land a big punch, and I mean a big punch. If the fight goes on this way, it's going to be a shutout, but I doubt if Hearns will stop him. Good right hand from Hearns. Staggered Murillo, knocks him into the corner, Hearns on the attack. Murillo's not hurt, he's all right. Murillo having trouble reaching Hearns. Attack again. The rope right above our broadcast position. Getting instructions from his corner, trainer Emmanuel Stewart. Turns relentless and so much poise, Gil. That's what impresses me. Overhand right. Big right hand. Big right hand. Turns really teeing off. Maria is so far surviving the assault. Rio bleeding from the nose slightly again, the same right nostril. Uppercut scoring from her. Now, those are the punches, the body punches. Rio takes a good head shot, but I don't know about the body. Hearns with a good body shot there. We've got less than a minute remaining round three. Rio shorter, two pounds lighter. Rio has a lot of fire. He tries. Well, there are so many outstanding welterweights in this division. Uh, how do you think Hearn stacks up, and how much uh, will his height be a factor in his reach in his fights against tougher opponents? I think he's got a shot with anybody. The way he can punch him with that reach. Under 30 seconds remaining third round. Hearn's trying to take Rio out of there, and Rio showing what everybody told us. He's a tough cookie. Rio has just failed to get any offense going at all. He just can't reach her. Final seconds of the third round. Overhand right from her. Down goes for Rio. Counting continues after the bell. And he's up. And the round is over. right at the bell in round number three. That knockdown at the end of round three came back strongly in round four, but Hearns continued to dominate the action, and through rounds four, five, and six, he took total command of the fight, but Murillo simply would not quit. He kept battling as best he could, but had very little offense. Now let's go into round number seven. The bell for round seven at the Olympia in Detroit, Thomas Hearns at the top of your screen in white, circling to the right against Segundo Murillo of Ecuador. And through six rounds, it has been all Thomas Hearns in pursuit of his 17th consecutive knockout. He had the man down at the bell at the end of round three, but Murillo has continued to survive. Very little offense so far, as Hearns has just continued to force the attack. Joe Clancy Hearns kind of cruising through round six, perhaps pacing himself a little bit. I know you'll be watching to see if he's tired at all. And with a sharp left. That was about as good a left jab as you can see. Sounded like a bomb. Murillo, it, it, it's funny. When you hit him with a good punch, it's like pressing a button. He goes into a different gear. Rio has uh, not been in there against any of the top welterweights, but he's won his last eight. 
He's an experienced fighter or he wouldn't be in there right now. He rolls with punches, he slips. Earlier he was moving side to side. He just can't get any range on Thomas Rennes to land any effective punches. The referee is Eddie Yu. Lives here in Detroit with me from Korea. Experienced referee. Doing a good job, too, so far. Now you know a referee's doing a good job when you don't see him, when he's out of the action. This, this is a good referee. Right scored from Hearns. Hearns on the attack again in the Murillo corner, and as Gil Clancy said, that brings Murillo alive. Murillo desperately trying to land something inside. That can't seem to hurt Hearns at all. Thomas Hearns the uppercut. Thomas is not only a good puncher, but he's physically strong. Now goes Murillo. I think more from exhaustion, Gil. I didn't see one punch to flatten him. He's trying to get up. He's up. And he's up in time. He's Run up. 30 seconds remaining. Hearns right 7. The crowd on its feet here in Detroit. They want Hearns to pick up number 17. You know, Gobi said he had a lot of heart. Mucho corazón. He sure does. Final seconds of the seventh round. Hearns is not going to get him in this round. This is round eight from the Olympia in Detroit. Hearns is all business now. Wants to get him out of there. Going after Murillo on the right of your screen. He's had him down twice. Hearns really going to work. He wants him out here in the eighth. I don't believe this, Murillo. I just don't believe him. Bobbing, weaving, just doing anything he can to stay upright. He's throwing his share of punches, but hasn't been landing too many. But he slipped most of Hearn's last assault. Eight rounds scheduled for ten. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy and down. He's not getting up this time. Lean right hand, right on the chin. Can Whoop. you believe this? He fooled me. You know, it looked like maybe his legs were twitching. I think he was just kind of getting his muscles loose again, ready to spring up, but he did. Look at this guy. Segundo Maria, this crowd's going to love him, too. Even though Hearns is their man, they're going to appreciate this performance. Well, I tell you, when I saw his legs twitching, Tim, I thought that was a sign that he wasn't getting up. He's been down three times in this fight. In the third, the seventh, and here in the eighth. Hearns has him in his own corner. And there's an overhand right. Down goes Murillo again. Second back down in round number eight. And he's up again. I think he's just getting a little rest down there. <laughs> Hearns on the attack trying to finish it. Three knockdown rule is in effect here. Three knockdowns in one round. He's seeing gloves coming from everywhere, Tim. Less than a minute remaining. Round eight. That will be frustrating for her not to be able to finish this round. Now he goes again, and that'll be it. There it is. The three knockdown rule. for Thomas Hearns here in the eighth round as he sent Maria to the floor for the third time. And the fight was stopped by the referee. What do you think, Gil? Well, I tell you, that Hearns, he can throw punches. That was an impressive performance. Punches and bunches, Tim. We're going to see that last knockdown again. The one that Ladies finished him off, the third knockdown the of the eighth round. Thomas Hearns showing his great stamina. I mean, he's got to throw 500 punches in the course of eight rounds. And 
Murillo putting up a gallant effort, totally outgunned and outmanned. I tell you, that Murillo really did try. But look how strong this Hearns is. He's the eighth round. And he's got every punch there is, too. All right, there's the final knockdown for Segundo Murillo and the victory to Thomas Hearns, his 17th consecutive knockout of... In this colorful theater tent, of the type to be seen in Westbury, New York, or Lambertville, New Jersey, on the very...